This will be then reference to the underside here and the underside I can prove is useful as a reference by measuring them against the top here and also the underside. So I have three altogether three uh, surfaces that should be in plane so to speak. So I will then verify that they are just that. And that I can do by first of all of course stoning them to see that there are no um, surprises like things and stuff. zero so this and this surface should be in plane and then I can also just as a test take this surface into account some the lights and then zero there yes practically zero within one hundredth of a millimeter and then for the dovetail itself, I can see that the, the whole of the area is uh, still having some form of scraping or flaking. It seems to be consistent, so I would assume this is pretty flat. However, if I either use these ones as reference pins, they go down two thirds and okay they should be okay enough but I can also use use proper pins here of course precision pins I am able to measure the amount of wear in the dovetail but since this is a let's say a compound measurement I rest on the uh, angle surface and what is on the flat side here I can't really tell if I do the normal measurement here choose a little bit big one and do measurements like this I can't really tell if what I measure is a result of the dovetailed section here being um, out of alignment or actually the flat and if you see this, I can see this is rather rough, so this has not been machined, but the inner parts here have been machined, so I could or should be able to measure this surface and then find that this is flat to this, at least some point uh, it's not out of alignment, and then use this, uh, let's say, saying this is zero, use this as a let's say a, a reference also and then being able to determine whatever where I can find a difference will be uh, because of the, the dovetail being born. This is theoretical. What I found in practice at least on this one and in a couple of others is that the surface here is not not uh, good enough uh, to reference against. So my other option, since I have already proved this is flat to the surface, and this as reference would be to measure directly to the dovetail. Like so, and then just to run the indicator along this. Of course, then you have to prove that this is consistent. Now, <coughs> to measure the dovetail, one more possibility exists. And that is put the pin inside like that and then a stop because I know now that this is flat and then pull the pin up to this stop then only the dovetail will be measured however as a one-man operation I'm not certain about the, the efficiency I find it better to measure directly directly onto the dovetail 
So let's see how that goes. So I zero the indicator. I'll try to keep still. And on. So I keep track and film. Let you get the point. So that's a good one. First, I've tucked it down firmly, and then dividing that grid, that dovetail. This produces the, the relief groove there. And then I'm, instead of firmly clamping it down, I'm just trying to, to mount it um, ah. just enough pressure to hold it. Just tuck it down lightly so I can Mark up. Like that. And uh, this guy, I know is, it was zeroed here, I mean indicated, and it went up by two hundredths of a millimeter, almost three. So I know it is higher here than here. So I have already grooved out this, so I can firmly rest this down and and uh, feel. And then I lift it a little bit up again, and then I can feel it's high in the middle. It rests in the middle, so I'm careful not to have any false marking at the side. And inspecting, we can see um, go. there's not a lot of blue there, and that is just false marking at the side there. And then it begins to mark up here, and it's also then not marking up here. So as expected, high in the middle. So then I'm attacking. I'm using my scraper carefully at the blue. Not a lot of force. I think I will also go in the middle here. No, in the in the deepest down. So going the other way, crossing the cuts. And then brushing and stoning stone a little bit down first in the and then flat so finally seems to be better
that seems to work up well. So we're roughing, that's it.